Oh god, the microphone. Oh, the microphone's picking up my laundry machine. Oh well, it's fine. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Snap. We're we're in the end game after three parts. I'm not even joking. So let us get our Pokemon sign for the volcano. Yep, that's it. That's all you need. And now, just like last time, uh, the stuff that's important is until the very end of the until the very end of the map. So let's just use our zoom function and get the hell right there. And the problem is, the few things that I was missing are also stupid hard to get. I don't like it. So right about here, I'm gonna make a save state. So I'm making a save state. Okay, so we got a Growlithe and an Arcanine here. So here's the problem: you had to throw your balls right. Okay, that's Growlithe. And that's Arcanine. Cool. That's all I wanted. Also, that's still like one of the best shots of Growlithe and Arcanine I've, e I've ever had in this game. They are really hard to get, uh, get footage of. Because of just how remote they are. You know, it's like actual Pokemon Gen 1 where Arcanine and uh, Growlithe are like one of the hardest things to catch ever because... Uh, Pokemon Blue players, uh, Pokemon Blue players, you had a, you had it easier technically. Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. Got a lot of points. Arcanine, the legendary Pokemon. And the Pokemon sign, which is meant to be coughing, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we'll get that in the river. Okay, next up is the cave. We're just gonna get the Pokemon sign here. We're not gonna worry about the other stuff we get here. I might want to try to get a better uh, Jigglypuff thing, but I'm not too worried about Jigglypuff in all honesty. Just because, like, the cave, also, we won't be able to get anything in here until we have uh, the last upgrade, and the last upgrade is kind of a pain to get. Okay, that's one jelly puff saved. Where does the other one spawn? Right here. That's two jelly puffs saved. And the third one spawns like way the hell over there, but we got time to get it. Well, I messed that up. There's the Pokemon sign. That's really finicky how you're supposed to get that Jigglypuff. Holy crap. I mean, I like it. I like the challenge, but also at the same time, holy crap, that's a hard challenge. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Bye. Wee. Let's just warp to the end because there's really nothing else for us to get here. And the one thing we have to get is, once again, we're going to get the last power up, and that's not coming until like a bit later. I need to pull my wireless keyboard out. Oh no. Okay, I also probably shouldn't be texting while I'm trying to do this. Oh well. Yeah, how the hell is this supposed to look like Mewtwo? I'm sorry, Bo, what? Okay, and that's like one of the last times we need to get proper. And now, we're going to the river! My favorite area. Or the valley, sorry. We're going to the valley, my favorite area. And it totally doesn't, ha it doesn't cause me childhood nightmares ever. You know, it's a perfect area. Why, why would you think it's a hard area? You know, just because it's the last area you get for the main style of game doesn't mean it's like, you know, it's an easy area, right? <laughs> It's like auto bombs in Splatoon. Every Splatoon player knows that auto bombs are the easiest things to easiest things to deal with. <laughs> Holy shit! That man, you just. <laughs> 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 I 
snake, he just seismic tossed that thing way the hell out there. Oh, shit. Vegeta and like Goku levels of just disrespect. Oh, oh, my lungs hurt now. Oh, I might not do good photo shots now because I'm laughing too much. Okay, take a photo of that manky. That manky, there you go. And now we got the Gyarados shot. That took me forever as a kid to get. And it's a teenager. It should be this waterfall, right? I guess not. Oh, shit. There we go, got the Gyarados shot. <clears throat> okay, we got that. And there's one more we need? Ah, I messed up. It's fine, we won't get the star you. I'd already bank on the star you anyways. Oh, there's a Dratini, and I totally didn't get that Dratini. Oh, wait, oh crap, there was. Oh, there's, oh, they evolve into the things. But I need this one. Okay, where are you? Uh, did you guys disappear already? Oh, you guys totally did. Ah, crap. Well, there's always another playthrough, sadly. Trying to get a Dratini to spawn. Dratini, please. I know you're gonna get 1% in actual Pokemon games, but there you go. Just Sorry, just the just the moon kick. The moon kink... Kink. The moon kick manky. Just... God, that was funny. Just losing the magic art for like two seconds and just dragging kids' ass to the moon. I'm so glad I have that on recording. And hopefully nothing about having this recording now. Okay, sure. Let's say that Squirtle. I forgot the Pokemon sign. Oh my god, I forgot the stupid Pokemon sign because I was laughing too much. Oh, sh Shazbot. It's fine. We'll we'll get it when we're doing our our. We'll do one other trip and just use the fast forward button the entire time. It's fine. Hey, right, well, this Gyarados. There's Star You. And then there's Dragonite. And then there's a uh, Dratini. Okay, I swear to God, if this is to push us over what we need for the Poke Flute, I'm gonna be very upset. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna easily push us over. Yeah, that Graveler shot sucks. That Maggie shot was alright, Oak. You are full of it. Oak, you are full of it, sir. I hate you. I'm 500 points off. Oak, shut your face. <laughs> That's what I missed to do. Honestly, the only thing I forgot to do was just that stupid shot. No, nope, throw. There. We got multiple squirrels now. Okay, next up, I don't really think I need a new photo of anything in particular. Mankey would help, but like, you know, we got several Mankeys throughout this map area. Actually, I'll try to get a better one here. Okay. Okay, that took way too many photos, but I got the star you. Okay, 
All right, fine. We'll just get the one star you. It's fine. Or star me. All right, cool. That's it. That's all we need. <clears throat> okay. Also. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little messed up right now. It's all sorts of messed up, man. Yeah, I know I took like 47 photos. Come on now, game. There's the Pokemon sign. That Squirtle shot should be better. Uh, one of these Mankey shots should be better. That's a that's a fairly decent Mankey shot. Uh, and then... I don't think that's a better shot. I think that's a better shot of Starmie. Okay, all we need to beat is 500. A basic photo would do this for me. Okay, cool. We already beat it. <laughs> okay, we definitely beat it now. Well, give you a special poke uh, Pokechool now. Hey, the poke flute. Guess what? It doesn't matter because we just need it for like two things now. Uh, we need to go to the river first for the sign in the river. So we hit R. And there we go. Those are like the only things we're missing now. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Side up, get out of here. Let's go, baby. I'm literally just holding R at this point. There's nothing to take photo uh, photos of uh, what we need. Because the last requirement you're ever going to need for this game in particular, I think, is like a certain amount of Pokemon. And we already hit that. We already have a certain amount of Pokemon we'll ever need for this. There's nothing we need to do besides get the signs and go to the final area. And to be fair, I think the LP is going to be ending in this episode because this is just... Screw it. We'll just make it a long episode. It's fine. Okay, we got Viaplume. And we got the sign. And we're done. <laughs> that Viaplume sh shot was actually pretty damn good. Okay, yes, Oak, oh, shut up. Let's go to the cave, or the tunnels. And this is the last thing we ever need to do. Because this one is actually kind of obvious, except it's not really. It's also a pain in the butt to do, so, yeah. Also, let me move! Thank you, holy crap. Okay, safe saying right here, because this is where this could be a giant pain in the butt. We need to get that Pikachu to that egg. So, go to the... Did I already do it in one shot? I did. Nope, he wasn't close enough. There we go. And it gives birth to Zapdos! Cool! Hey, probably thinking, what's the point of getting Zapdos? Easy! It turns on the lights here, because that's a generator. Why is there a generator in the water? I don't freaking know. Okay, so that goes on. Where you take a picture, if you take a picture of Diglett, you get Dugtrio. And then this one, if you if you throw Pokemon food at Magnemite, Mag Magnemite does not do the, electrical, uh, the Thunder Wave ability. So there's other things you can do! Plus, we need the generator for this one, the actual Pokemon sign, which I am save stating for because I have occasionally screwed this up because the game is smart. There we go. 
And that's Pinsir. Cool. We have every stage done, and we have pretty much all the Pokemon, except like a handful of them, which I'm like, eh, we don't really need that. So we got Magnemite. I'll try to get Mag Mag uh, Magnetone. Magnetron. Okay, no, no, go there. And got it. Cool. Wait, did we just get all 63 Pokemon that are in this game? No, I'm missing. I'm definitely missing a couple. Oh, wait. Crap. Am I missing a couple? If so, where am I missing them? Because I don't remember now. I swear, if I'm ending this thing with 63 Pokemon I, and I have, like, the entire decks... Oh, wait. No. I know what I'm missing. I'm missing one thing in particular and I'm missing, uh... Yeah, I know what I'm missing. It's back in the caves, which... Once again, doesn't matter because when you get to this point of the game, you're already in a, you're already in any game to begin with. It's gonna be so funny if I end it with sixty two Pokemon, because <laughs> that means I purposely missed one. Oh, you're full of it, by the way. I'm ending with 61. I'm ending the game with 61 Pokemon, so that means I'm missing two Pokemon. What the hell? Welcome back. Welcome back. We have solved the mystery. Hmm. Uh-huh. It's the sky, the rainbow cloud. Welcome to the final boss of the game. Yeah. That's it. Like, three parts, and we're already done. Going off the rainbow cloud, and we'll just talk over the end credits, because this is actually not that long of a stage, plus you only need one shot of this pi uh, You only need one shot of the mythical Mew to beat the game. So, when I say boss fight, I mean it's kind of a boss fight. Mew will spawn, and you have to hit it with a pester ball. So, we're going to spawn again, Mew. Right there. Right there. There you go. And then after two shots, it's after three shots. After three shots, when you want to spawn it, get you, you. There you go. After three shots, uh, the first shield breaks, and he only has two shields, I believe. So he's gonna start charging at you. You throw the uh, you throw the pest ball, and I believe it's the same principles. After two shots, it breaks. Or three shots, it breaks. So that's two shots, and that's the third shot. Now, get your camera ready and take, get ready to take a photo, a photo of Mew wherever it shows up. Are we left or right? Okay, we got a photo of Mew. I'll try to get a better photo of Mew, but I'm also going to, at this point, just rush to the end of the game, end of the uh, course. God, Mew's hard to hit. <laughs> Mew's really hard to hit for some reason. I do like the music in this game, though. That, it, like, it, we're gonna talk about the music a little bit in the credits, obviously, but, like, I really do like the music in this game. It's one of the better N64, like, Pokemon, early Pokemon tracks. Alright, cool. That's, that's, like, the one shot of Mew I wanted. Okay, Mew, you can kind of go about your, your day now. I, I wanted one photo of you, and I got it. If I actually do Pokemon New Snap this year, that's gonna be interesting, because... I don't like New Snap as much as I do this one, but that's also because of other reasons and the fact that I don't like one mechanic of the game. I don't like one me Actually, no, I don't like several mechanics of the game, but, like, one major mechanic that, like, really upset me playing Pokemon New Snap. I, I, I think people on Twitter and people on uh, on YouTube in general, or, or even on my Twitch when I, when I did it for a few things... Yeah, there's there's a couple of mechanics I don't like in New Snap. It's a good game. It's it's still a very good game. It's just I'm gonna just say this right now: the final fight, the final fight in New Snap is really hard. Actually, that would have been a great shot of me. Oh shit. Okay, can we, you know, Mew, I'm kind of, I'm kind of done taking photos of you. I want to leave. This stage goes on for like five minutes if you don't use the speed up, and it's really damn long. Granted, it's the final fight, so it makes sense, but, you know, we already have our picture of Mew. 
I still can't believe we're ending with 61 Pokemon. That means I literally only missed two Pokemon. One of them was on purpose, and I don't know if the other one's on purpose. Uh, what was the best shot of Mew we have? Yeah, that one's, like, probably the best one we have. Okay, Oak, have fun. Evaluate this sucker. <laughs> I got a shit score for it. Oh, that's just great to see. Actually, I think there's only 62 Pokemon in this game. Crap, so in that case, I might just make one bonus episode to show off that one secret Pokemon. Mew made it. Yeah, Mew lives on the island. Congratulations. Yeah, save it. This is going to overwrite my main file anyways. And they're all photos that I took! Yay, we get to relive the crappy photos I took! But yeah, no, seriously, this is a really good short Pokemon game. It's only about like an hour or so. But like if you're going for 100% and you don't know what you're doing, it, it's a little challenging. And like obviously I'm not going to say like, you know, watching a Let's Play is the exact same as playing the game because especially in a game like this. Uh, it's actually really good if you have the Nintendo Switch online, uh, the expansion pass, or even if the... Yeah, even if you have some of the other uh, releases that they did for um, the Wii... The Nintendo Wii and the, N the Nintendo Wii U, or I think this was also on the 3DS if I'm not mistaken. Still a good game to play. It's short, yeah, but it's a situation where, like, this was one of the first... Actually, no, shoot. This was the first time, period, we have saw, we saw 3D models for Pokemon. So, I mean, as much as people are going to be like, oh, the game looks like garbage now, and, well, you're comparing it to, like, current games, of course it's going to look like garbage. But, yeah, I mean... You got, like, out of, like, the 150 Pokemon that there are in, um, the first generation, you still got 63, so that's, like, what? A little over half of them? I think it's a little over half of them. Unless I'm doing math wrong, which is entirely possible. Uh, but yeah, like, still a good game. Games, uh, I, I mean, even if you find a copy of the game, I think the, go the copies of these games are going for, like, dirt cheap now. The music's good. There's not really anything to talk about in particular with the music, because, like, there's, like, no anime references or anything in there, but there's... There's slight nods to, like, the anime composers and stuff, because, like, at this point, I think Season 1 was about ready, ra about to wrap up, I think, for uh, Pokemon content. And this just kind of came in a weird time in my life where I was just kind of, like, you know, I was going... I was, like, 10 years old, roughly, when this game came out. I got... I, uh... I went to a Blockbuster, actually, this is a fun story I should tell real fast. I went to a Blockbuster, and um, my parents were like, okay, well, my, my mom, because my dad was working at the time, and my dad was always a workaholic. Oh, that, that's a different story. I'm not, not going to talk about my dad's work, work ethics. Uh, but my mom took me to the store, and was like, or the rental place, and she was like, okay, you can pick out one Pokemon, or, or one game you want to play for the weekend, because, you know, typical things. And I picked out Pokemon Snap, and I'm like, okay, cool. It's like it's a Pokemon game, so little kid, little kid me was super excited to play it. And then like he put it in, and I beat it within like a day or two, and I'm, or within the day or whatever. So I'm like, oh well, I would just go play Legend of Zelda or something. But like as I got older, I kind of realized this game is, as much as I complain about Oak, like it's actually a pretty solid game in all honesty. But uh. Yeah, that was also the first game I actually bought from a Blockbuster because back then, you know, you couldn't really buy anything and I was just like, I mean, I really like the game. So I think they had like a section where you could buy games if they were on like the target target price area thing. And my mom was just like, you know what, you like the game enough here, just go wild. And uh, I played it for years. I played it for quite literal, like, uh, I want to say seven years. And I, I that's kind of where I learned a lot of things, but... It wasn't until, like, a Let's Play on YouTube where I found out, oh, I've been playing the game wrong my entire life. <laughs> Anyways, that, that wraps up the short, this short little Let's Play, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's, uh, it's always fun to go back down memory lane for me, so, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next project. Later!